Alright, so we've been uh, flying to those combat sites to try them in high security, and I don't know if they're worth it in the destroyer. It's just uh, these guys, they don't get much when you kill them, right? 12,000. Well, I guess that's alright, but uh, we'd just be better doing uh, higher leveled areas in the cruiser, probably. And, uh, maybe even the battle cruiser or something. So basically, you go down to the probe scanner, and then we're going to the combat sites like we were talking about before. So we scanned down a whole bunch of sites in the er earlier episodes. Well, earlier today we scanned these sites, so we decided that we wanted to try to see what was uh, in the actual uh, combat sites that we've been passing up. So now we came back to try them out. Oh, and here's our ship fitting. So we fitted the ship for just basically long range, <coughs> long range combat. So we could uh, shoot uh, 62 kilometers out. And then with this thing, our targeting range is like 62 kilometers. So as long as it's within uh, 62 kilometers, we could target it and shoot it. So it's pretty sweet. Oh, you could even do that over here too. So here's the fit. It's just a uh, really cheap, just all tier one stuff, just on a destroyer. So it looks just like a battleship, it's pretty cool, except it uh, flies backwards for some reason. So basically you just uh, lock onto the targets here and then you would uh, destroy them, maybe launch some missiles at some enemies and launch some other missiles at some other enemies and then uh, just hope that they all die at some point. So you do have to uh, watch out here because uh, my health does drop, right? These guys, they uh, probably will do damage if they get into range of us. So. We're just trying to get the loot here, We're trying to see if there's uh, anything amazing to loot here. So far, we just got that afterburner that's always worth like uh, 600,000 for some reason. I don't think we really got too much besides that, just the one afterburner. So we don't know um, if there's any good loot here or anything. Oh, there's even more enemies, we should probably start uh, flying away. We don't want to get start, uh, start getting attacked by them, but we do want to get the loot anyways. So maybe we can even fit like a tractor beam on here or something since uh, we don't, maybe we don't need all these missile launchers on the enemies. So if we use this here, we're trying to do loot, so it's just uh, garbage again, it's just all frigates, it's just all small ships that we don't really uh, need at this point. <clears throat> so I think we're maybe just going to fly back to the station and then try going in the cruiser. Because <clears throat> um, some of these, the like, uh, drone conduit one, it was absolutely insane, the emerging conduit. We went there and then uh, we actually almost lost our ship, right? So just try flying to these sites, seeing what they do. These ones uh, don't seem to give really anything. So maybe we'll try some uh, higher leveled sites. So I guess the Sasha's Refuge and the Sasha's would be the basic sites. Seems like that's what we're doing right now. Uh, they seem pretty easy, even in these destroyer, we just sit here and uh, shoot uh, missiles at the enemies. And we just fly away and then hope that we don't get destroyed in the process. So we go open this cargo, hopefully it's uh, one of those afterburners, because I think that's the only thing you could actually loot or something. Or we just haven't found it yet. Maybe they actually uh, do drop something sometimes, but we're still in the process uh, seeing if they actually do drop that thing that we're hoping that they drop. It doesn't really look like it, so we just have our shields uh, shields going, because they seem to be hitting us at the moment. So this is just supposed to be an episode about uh, running the combat sites. So all of these combat sites in the systems, we like uh, set a destination far away from the home oh, place. Oh, we should probably get the heck out of here. We want to be right beside them. Turn off our shields. Um, we want to lose our ship. Like, that's what I'm telling you, right? Go align two. So we're probably going to be in trouble here. We're probably just going to return home anyways if we have uh, moves. That's what was a group all the group all the launchers or something. So I believe, I believe if um all these guys are attacking us, maybe they could uh, destroy our destroyer, or something like that. So that's why we basically turned around because we're like, uh, no, we don't really want to lose our destroyer at the moment. So maybe we'll just come back when we uh, finish the mission or something. So with the destroyer, I guess it uh, does work, but probably the cruiser is much better. So it just doesn't seem to seem to do the job for the other missions, and then uh, you almost get destroyed yourself with the destroyer. 
Oh, I guess it does work. It is something to fly, right? Because it is just a two million dollar ship, right? It's not gonna cost you anything if you do happen to lose it for some reason. You can just lose like three million dollars. Well, I think that counts our loot or something. So this should only be like two million dollar fit. Unless we put something on it. And we also made a salvaging ship back at the home base. When we go back to the home base, we can look at the salvaging ship. Just made uh, one of those for maybe when the battle cruiser can actually defeat level three missions. We could uh, go salvage everything. So this is basically it. So this uh, scan resolution thing, it increases your targeting range. So that's why we have that thing on. And these things, I don't think we're gonna get anything. So we'll just uh, cut the video here. You can uh, run, run the level one missions. You just have to watch which ones you do. Uh, the Sash Hideaway, that seems fine. The Refuge, that seems fine. That's the one that we're in right now. The Forsaken Hub, we're not sure. Maybe that one requires a cruiser or something. The Hideaway. Sash is Forsaken Hideaway. Emerging Conduit, if we go there, our shield is going to start dropping. It's just silly. So maybe we'll try this other one. So I know if I go to the Emerging Conduit, our ship just about gets destroyed. That's why we had to repair it. We don't know about the Forsaken Hideaway, though. Seisho's Mason was founded well over a century ago. Seisho was a uh, Kaldari tycoon who carved out a sizable piece of space for himself. So we do want to align to these stations. Maybe this is a maybe this is a ridiculous mission for the destroyer again. Maybe we do just need the cruiser when doing these missions. Yeah, because these things are going to come in. There's going to be a whole bunch of them. They're going to be right beside us, and then they're going to destroy us. So I uh, want to align two, and then we uh, target you, and then we put on these things here. So I don't think we need the shield boost one. But if these guys start attacking us, our health is going to just drop. Right? Yeah, so look at our health just drop. If we were in the cruiser. So I guess there's a... Uh, easier missions for frigates to do and then maybe there's easier missions for cruisers to do but uh yeah seriously these ones are just uh crazy so we're gonna have to jump i don't think we're gonna be able to do this mission some of these missions you can't do in the destroyer i guess i guess it's just the few few missions that are uh, low level that you could do so the destroyer is probably a pretty cool ship. Maybe the tier 2 destroyer is a lot better, but the tier 1 destroyer doesn't seem to do the job for doing these combat sites. So we're going to return back home, and then we're going to uh, try to get a better ship. So we're just returning back to our home station. Maybe we could uh, repair our shields before we go, but we'll look at our ship fittings that we made when we get back there. Alright, so then here's a few of our fits, right? Here's the heron we use to go explore, explore, uh, try to finding, uh, data and relic sites. Except, uh, I don't think we really made too much in those runs. Maybe we'll have better luck next time. And then the Kamarat. Oaks, we're looking at the, uh, actually the rigs. There's rigs that increase your warp, uh, warp speed. It's absolutely amazing. So the Kamarat, we made these ones into another salvager, just like the salvagers we made before in that one salvager episode. Just because it has uh, eight turret slots, so we can put four salvager ones on it and uh, four tractor beam ones. So this one costs uh, five million to make. So it's just that basic salvaging ship, maybe just a small shield booster, uh, afterburner, then some overdrive injectors to increase the speed. And then um, this one, you can see the warp speed is 4.5, right? The navigation, or the speed rig didn't really add too much, right? But uh, jumps up from 4.5 up to 6.34. So we just put uh, two, two hyperspatial velocity optimizers on this thing. So what this does is uh, increases your ship's warp speed at the expense of increased signature radius. So all it does is make the enemies uh, easier to lock onto us, right? And it allows us to warp faster. So they cost like 300k, so they're decently cheap. Cause this ship, uh, oh, they're like 500k, okay. So it uh, added quite a bit. And the other one, we just put it on just to see if it increased our speed too much and it really didn't. So this ship, its only job is to go to the missions after the battle cruiser maybe clears out some missions and then goes and loots and then salvages all the missions maybe. Maybe that's his job right now. And then our Kamarat that we have, 
tanks. We were just using this thing. And this thing was pretty cool because it could uh, shoot the missiles up to 62 kilometers away. And its uh, targeting is only 50 kilometers, but actually this uh, sensor booster that we put here improves your uh, maximum targeting range bonus so it actually makes us able to target uh, 62 kilometers so as long as we can target them we can shoot them so it's absolutely insane you could just uh, drive away and shoot them with the missiles and then the enemies can't even hit you and we need the call processor because we don't have enough cpu for anything so that's pretty much this one yeah it just uh shoots things from far away and then it can't get hit and then i guess it doesn't matter that it has a small shield but maybe the maybe the cruiser would be better just because it has uh so much more hit points that one has like three thousand hit points as well oh how much uh shields did this thing have because i thought it was a lot weaker this one only has a uh, four thousand ehp 1,100 shields, although those enemies just tore through these shields really quickly. Compared to our carousel or cruiser, it was only twice as strong and the shields aren't even that different. So maybe the cruiser would, uh, would lose shields pretty quickly at that mission as well. Hmm. This maybe you need a battle cruiser for those missions. No, this one should be able to run those missions. We're not really sure. Maybe it can't run those missions. But then the battle cruiser. So we have the one battle cruiser. Took down that one mission. I think we uh, changed it a little bit. Oh, that's right. Off video. I think we uh, took off the some of the flare catalysts. We took off the rigor catalysts. Then we instead put a uh, hydro hydraulic bay thrusters, which increase your max velocity of your missiles. So really like being able to attack things from afar so we can target things within 71 kilometers and then our missiles can uh, shoot within 71 kilometers so as long as we can target the enemy we can fire missiles at them it's amazing it doesn't matter that our ship can only go 172 miles per second we can uh, target things from so far away and then a tractor beam just to maybe tractor things to us but we have the salvaging ship to go We'll do that, I guess. And then uh, we also have gone completely broke buying all these ships, right? We've been making these ships, and I think the planetary interaction took a bunch of our money. But uh, we're making backup ships just in case we lose ships. So I think this one we were just gonna try putting more warp speed on it, just because it was cool, just because uh, just because we can. So the item hanger, it was just a rig that we had. Spatial hyper velocity optimizer for small. So if we go via market details, we'll buy another one of these. Our warp speed should be just insane. <laughs> so this thing's pretty cool. We're just going to have to figure out how to do missions to regain some money again. So we can put uh, three of them on. So our warp speed, ship warp speed, the maximum speed that can be reached in warp. So 4.5 AU. Are you sure you want to put this on? Yes, 5.4 AU. Then we could put another one on. So they do have penalties, right? 6.34 AU. So what does uh, putting three of them do? 7.06. So that's really good. So now we're going to be able to warp super far. Exist, uh, he shouldn't be dealing with combat or anything. But what are the drawbacks of these things? Warp suit bonus drawback. Uh, expensive increase in the radius. All right, so ships can target us easier. But there shouldn't be any ships over there. So it brings our cost up to 6 million just because we threw rigs on this ship. But when we're going to loot the missions, we should be able to fly there absolutely as quick as possible. So there's the other, uh, there's the cruiser, I guess. That's, uh, lower class than the other one. So maybe we could go in the cruiser. Maybe we could try to take out those missions we couldn't take out before. They had stronger ships. They had, uh, frigates and stuff, so I don't know if the battle cruiser would be good for those ones. Maybe the battle cruiser is better for better missions, but there is the level 3 security missions, so maybe we'll just uh, go fly in space and search for those other missions that were way too hard for us before. So maybe we'll fly around through this pocket of space again here, somewhere out here. So just like over here or something. I'm not even sure where it was, right? It was probably somewhere we'll just fly around to random places and see if we can find something like we'll go set destination here and then we'll go fly over here and then see if there's anything along the way 
And we'll see if there's any things to do in the uh, probe scanner when we leave the station. So we're making sure that we're fit properly. Make sure that we have uh, missiles in our inventory. All right, we do have missiles. So now we're good to go. So this will do fitting. So 12.8 million. So these things, these things, uh, they're really good. 1.7 million. Brings up our ship cost quite a lot, I guess, because they cost like uh, 2 million for each of them. Crazy. So there, there's the fit. There, let's go. So <clears throat> we could replace this thing. I don't think we're going to lose it. Hopefully not. So we undock and then we go through the waypoints and then we check the probe scanner to check the other combat sites. So this uh, episode's just checking out the combat sites with our combat ships. So this is like for some reason you didn't want to do do your agent missions. For some reason you didn't want to do level 3 security missions or something. In your battle cruiser. Or you didn't want to do level 2 security missions. Those give you uh, extra money when you complete them. So we've got the rapid, rapid light missile launchers. You can't fit these on the destroyer because they take so much power. Because we tried to put these, you could only put a one on the destroyer. It was insane. So, rapid missile launchers. I guess these shoot a lot faster than the other ones. Maybe these will be a lot better. But they just have the super long reload time. That's it. So we'll uh, come back when we come to one of those crazy hard combat sites that the destroyer just cannot do. Alright, so the first place we warp to, Blood Raider Forsaken Hideaway. So, I imagine it would be the same difficulty pretty much. Basically, the other one was the Sasha's Hideaway. So, Blood Raider Forsaken Hideaway. Maybe there's the same things for the different factions or something. But, um, we could read this thing here maybe, depending on how hard it is. We just want to make sure that we're able to uh, warp out to safety if it's uh, way too difficult. We don't want to get our ship destroyed, it's the main thing. So our cruiser, the Amar Empire has had its share of religious cultists and oh we arrived, oh there's a uh, loot here, somebody's wrecked, somebody already came here and they got destroyed by these people so we have to watch out, we have to align too, we have to put on these shield things, we have to try to destroy the enemies. Looks like somebody showed up here and they thought they could take this out so what are they in blood small wreck? Oh no it just means someone was here and they already tried to destroy these enemies or something. Oh so they do have a whole lot of hit points. So somebody came in and maybe they destroyed the one wreck and then uh, that's their loot or something. So it looks like these guys are going to be difficult so we're going to have to group all of our weapons and take them out in like uh, two volleys or something. Alright, then we'll have to refresh our guns. So it's not as uh, fast as the destroyer but I guess it has uh, twice as much hit points than it has the rapid missile launchers. So what do we do once we destroy everything? Do we back with the salvager and loot it or with the looter and loot it or do we just uh, loot it with this guy so maybe somebody came in here they tried to do the mission they destroyed one and then uh, the airship was so almost destroyed that they left the mission or something so if we try to loot that then we're going to be considered criminals so oh geez holy holy <laughs> lying to whole bunch of enemies here. Uh, so maybe we could try to destroy them. I think we aligned to a station level. We don't know which one we aligned to. So it looks like they're missing us completely, so it's absolutely amazing if they were uh, hitting us. I imagine, I imagine we would be in quite the situation. So we could turn off the shield, we could save our capacitor. So cruisers they also have a bigger capacitor capacity, I guess. So we'll destroy these ships. We don't even know how much they're worth, right? We don't know how much these ships are worth that we're destroying, but so maybe those other ones are actually worth something. Oh, 27,000. That's pretty good. 27,000. Oh, so these ships are, are kind of worth something. Amazing. Perfect. So we are kind of earning something, and then uh, maybe we could get something from the Rex if they contain it. It's just uh, we don't want to burn up over there because we don't want to explode our ship, right? So we're gonna have to reload the ammo. So cool, I guess uh, these ones are better. These guys give uh, more loot. Cause the other ships, when you destroy the other ships, they just give you like uh, 3,000 and like 8,000 for loot. But if these small ships give you uh, 25,000, I imagine that bigger ship gave us uh, more loot too. Cause these are all just uh, small frigates now. Whatever the uh, 
whatever the medium rare gave us. I thought there was a medium rare. Anyway, these things take a while to reload, so you're gonna have to reload for a while, but once they're reloaded, then you'll be able to shoot the enemies. So actually, maybe since our attack speed's better, because the regular missile launchers, they didn't seem to take too long to uh, fire, actually. So maybe we'll just come back, we'll see what the loot is from here, because it's just gonna be shooting these guys. Maybe some more guys might show up, but we're already 50 kilometers away from the loot. But our max uh, flight range is 57 kilometers, and the targeting range should be around there, so... Seems like our missiles aren't even really doing too much damage to this thing. Holy! Look at his resistances! Corporal Reaper, he must have uh, benefits to shields on his ship, so... It's gonna take a while to destroy him, because he's pretty resistant to uh, every single type of damage. He better have some good loot for us. So what about this one? Door shields aren't as bad. Or, oh, they are as bad. All of them have tons of shields. Sweet, so we'll try to destroy these guys. There's one of the guys destroyed. And maybe more guys will show up. Maybe we'll burn back to the loot to try to get it. Or we could fly towards them, I guess. Well, if we start flying towards them, then we're going to start taking damage, right? If we start going towards the loot, and then a bunch of guys were in. We could go start trying to loot the thing, I guess. The starting place is uh, 73 kilometers away. So we can turn around. We're gonna have to reload our missiles. Hopefully, these guys won't destroy us. Oh, here, we actually got that afterburner again. We don't know why that afterburner is worth 650k and why absolutely everything else is worthless. This doesn't make any sense, but uh, we got we got a little bit of loot. Uh, this guy's taking a bit to destroy. He generated his uh, armor a bit, so armor repair and if uh, he drops some moves gonna be right by us but he didn't drop any so now these guys are all the way over there okay so how much do uh, these guys give oh, 15,000 okay I thought it said like 157,000 or something so I thought they would uh, give them more loot because they're a destroyer right those frigates were worth more 8,000 purple 15,000 with only the shields on anymore. We do need to burn out of here though. We do want to knock us around it. Our missiles are reloading. But uh, yes, we just came back because I think we got that loot. That was it. So you can run these uh, these missions here. You just have to wait for your missiles to reload. And then uh, eventually there's other types of ships too. Maybe projectile missiles or projectile turrets would be good. But um, these ones work uh, all the time. So we'll just come back when we destroy them. I think we could launch a missile and see how much damage it does to them. Maybe these guys uh, take more damage from the missiles. You can see, eventually we'll be able to loot those guys. We just uh, can't go within range or else we'll probably take damage from the enemies. So, the super sick uh, missiles, you can attack them from so far away. The other guy can attack them like 71 kilometers away. Alright, so the mission's finally done. It took absolutely forever. So, considering we're uh, more than 150 kilometers out, we could actually warp to the things, right? If we're a certain far distance away. So, let's reload all of our weapons. So, we finally destroyed everything. It took absolutely forever. So, if you're ever in the world and something is like 149 kilometers, you can approach it. But if it is 150 kilometers, you can warp to it. So, we could actually uh, warp to it and. Oh. Yeah, we'll just warp to it, so then we could warp to the wreck, so we could actually, we were just uh, flying out in space, basically away from the enemies, so it's all the way over there, we've been flying for so long, and then if we warp back over there, then we could uh, warp to where the loot is, because I don't think there is any more enemies here, and then we could uh, loot the loot, so we didn't have to fly all the way back there, so we just got uh, 5,000, so we didn't really get too much. And if we lose that one, we're gonna be a suspect. Contains loot, restricted access. So somebody else came here, they destroyed one of the enemies, and then they uh, left their loot here, I guess. So we put the afterburners on. And then after fighting here in this thing, I was thinking maybe the regular missile launchers are better. They can hold 40, and then we're gonna have to figure out. It's just the fight took so long. So maybe we just need a better cruiser or something. But it is something to do, right? You are doing something besides missions. If you don't want to do agent missions, which probably, probably would be one of the better things to do. 
So we go loot these guys. Oh, they're all pretty close. They're not too far away. So we destroyed all the enemies in this uh, combat site. Oh, and then there's no other no other sites in this area. So I think maybe we're gonna go back to the station and then uh, maybe get the battle cruiser or something. So maybe run level three missions. Maybe that'd be something to do. Maybe we can get some good, uh, better loot from the enemies. Oh, there's the money we got for killing the enemies. Doesn't really seem like too much though. Because the enemies they'll give you like fifteen thousand or thirty thousand as a reward for killing them. And now uh, whatever you manage to loot from them, I guess. Cruise is not gonna go too fast, but uh, 778. Oh, that's right, in the other video, I guess uh, sometimes they do. Maybe it's just the cruisers, cruisers that gave you the good loot. The ones where we got the rocket, rocket launcher worth 4 million, and the other rocket launcher worth uh, 3 million. I think we got those from like a level 3 mission. Maybe it was level 2 missions, it would have to have been level 2 missions level 2 missions, the enemies give all right loot, so I imagine level 3 missions would give uh, amazing loot, and then you wouldn't have to go searching the galaxy for different enemies and uh, trying to figure out what the different combat sites mean, I imagine. Just so maybe we'll come back to the combat sites later. But uh, we're just gonna loot these, and then we're just gonna head back home, so maybe we won't uh, record looting everything. We'll record this loot to see if we get anything. Ah, uh, 7,000, so I don't know if it was worth it to fly to this loot thing. Although, if we get something worth uh, money, it would have been. Alright, so we're back at the station. So basically, we ran a whole bunch of missions with uh, this destroyer thing. It could handle those low-level missions, and then uh, I don't think you get too many rewards for them. It just didn't seem worth it. So then we brought out the cruiser, we thought maybe the cruiser doing those uh, harder missions that the destroyer couldn't do might be worth it. But then we went to go there and all we found is uh, maybe that's not worth it either. Maybe we just need a better cruiser or something, maybe this thing's just not good enough for it. Maybe we need like uh, tech 2 ships or something for those combat sites to make them efficient. It's just uh, there's nothing to loot from there. And then in the MR home station, we could just sit here, maybe get a level 3 security missions. So he just wants us to destroy the convoy, so we could maybe do that in the battle cruiser. So we go to the battle cruiser, we could try flying that thing. <clears throat> so I guess the combat sites are something to do, although you can't really do them too well. <clears throat> so we've explored a whole bunch of things to do. Now let's explore the battle cruiser again. So we took it into that one mission. And then we realized we couldn't really attack the enemies from too far, it was uh, moving really slow, it took forever to drive to them. So we put uh, hydraulic bay thrusters on here so that our missiles could shoot uh, 71 kilometers instead of the whatever they shot before, maybe like 49 kilometers or something, and our targeting range. So our shields were amazing, our shields didn't have any problems, we have the one tractor beam. And we just have the ballistic controls and then the co-processors worth uh, 43 million for this ship. So that's alright. So maybe we could do level 3 missions and then we could use use the Kamarats to go pick up all the salvage and pick up all the loot from the missions. So we're gonna have to save a point in the wreck or something. Or maybe after the mission is done we just go loot the mission or something. Cause I don't think we want to do like four or five missions and then go loot four or five missions. That'd be way too much stuff to carry and everything. So maybe we'll do level three security missions and then go salvage. Cause we're out of money. We're basically broke. We only have 15 million to our name. So we're getting all of our money from doing the missions before, from doing the agent missions, the career mage uh, missions, and then. Uh, Maybe we could do level 4 delivery missions or something, that would be easy to do, but uh, combat you get the rewards for killing the enemies and then uh, you might get something to drop from the enemies that's worth like 3 or 4 million. Oh, even in the level 2 missions, one of the enemies they dropped me something worth 20 million, so if in the level 2 security missions the enemies can drop you something for like 3 million and 4 million and 20 million. Who knows what the level 3 missions could give us. Hopefully the battle cruiser could actually take on the level 3 missions. We're gonna have to see. We know it could uh, shoot enemies from 71 kilometers away, so it should be able to destroy anything. I think it's mostly made for destroying the heavier ships, so I think we were trying to re research drones, and then we decided not to, because we're undecided if we wanted drones, but we do need drones for this ship. 
So we already got like hall upgrades. We did we did re research some things. Some things we were finally finally uh, researching like mechanics three. We've been trying to research mechanics three since like uh, I don't even know quite a while ago. We put these there and then shield operation. We put those down there a while ago. And then we put a whole bunch of random things to branch out into the game more. And now we're finally able to start researching these things. So hall upgrades would be able to use better things. Shield upgrades would be able to use better shields and uh, weapon upgrades. 5% reduction in the CPU requirement of weapons. Oh, okay. Because uh, you can see our Drake, we can't equip anything. We're using all of our CPU. And same with our other thing too. I think same with our comrade. We got exactly enough CPU to actually put the thing on. Yeah. For the Comrade, our fitting is uh, exactly exactly as much fitting as you could put. You cannot put uh, anything else on this thing. So that's like the most you can fit on the Comrade. has zero CPU left and the Drake has zero CPU left. It's absolutely hilarious. So maybe these are the optimum fits or something. Something like that. We just need to get a uh, Tech 2 gun so we can do more damage to the enemies maybe. But there's the um, doing the combat, combat sites I guess. Low level combat sites.